It's second semester and the mating season has finally begun. Love is so core to the human experience. What happens when love fills the lockers in the hallways? It's almost Valentine's Day and KIS already has more than 10 couples in its high school. Teenage dating has been looked down upon and even shunned by adults in Korea. Yet, it is such a natural part of our lives. We interviewed some of our teachers and students to see what they think. So what is your take on teenage dating? No. Uh, I guess it depends. I think sometimes it's good, but I think if you have seniors dating freshmen, I'm not really sure that's the, the best thing for the freshmen. I think that it's uh, a good place to start, but I don't really think that it's lasting. I think uh, teenagers have absolutely no idea what love is. I would say, at least in our contemporary society, it's very common. Uh, that teenagers date. I don't think anyone views that as unusual or somehow shocking or scandalous. It's very important for uh, students, for teenagers, to talk with their parents about uh, expectations and boundaries that they might set. We then interviewed students about what they had to say about teenage dating. I think teenage dating is not good because it's time for you to study and it can affect your study habits. I don't know. Why not? What's wrong with it? It's not appropriate for school. It's pretty tolerable because people say, like, some people say, oh, it's inappropriate for teenagers to, like, date or something. But it's not like all the teenagers who date go on inappropriate paths. Or, like, it, it'll be experienced. They should have some fun in their lives. As long as students exhibit appropriate behavior, teenage dating can be a wonderful experience that will help students grow and create memories. However, students should still be aware of the school policies written in the handbook when it comes to displaying public affection on campus. This was Minae Kwon and Jenny Yoon from Phoenix Plume.